one. Hello, guys. Thank you for. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Munchies Weekly Episode 12. I'm your host, Shaf, and in this episode, there's a lot of exciting things happening, so I'll just let you wait and watch. Thank you. So we're doing renovations at Munchies Donald and we're ripping off this old logo and the idea is we are going to rip it all off, paint it black, get some mirrors on there, get some uh, artificial plantation around the edges and it's going to look amazing. And we have Alexo from Georgia working on the job. Alexo, you ready? Yeah. Good man. So yeah, as you can see, that's the, um, the spray painted wall. We've taken the chocolate um, shelf out here. Um, so this is gonna get a Munchies new vinyl going on there as well. Uh, and yeah, the TV screens have gone up. Which so this is the progress of the wall. All the vinyl has been ripped off. The sign is almost off. And Alex is sat there, still ripping. Yeah. We also got Leon and his friend from LNB Fabrications to come out to rebuffer all the countertops and the front lip of our counter. It's been broken for some time now, so they managed to stick that back together, rebuff it all just to take it back to brand new. And they did an absolutely incredible job. Excellent. Thank you, guys. If you could, like, so, so the transformer is going to be on I the top, right? Yeah. You tell me how, how high. And, and you know that cable, um, is that going to have to, is that going to be hidden in the back or is that going to have to run up? No, I'm going to feed through that car, uh, push that in. You have to make it. That might be too thick. So what I do? I'm gonna strip on outer sleeve off. Yeah, and then just perfect. Perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, that's actually good. And then how do we how do we get the middle to be black again? You know, because you know wherever you're feeding the cable, paint it black. Is it? Yeah, just the paint. Or do you think we should put um, a tape? You know that sort of uh, elect electrician tape. After that, it's just tape it up first before you push it in. Okay, okay. Have you got the electrical tape? Brilliant. Brilliant. We're off to a winner. We're off to a winner. It's going to look awesome. Right there. Artificial plantation all the way around. It's going to look like that wall at um, the London Road store where it's got a big munchy sign and it's got plants running either, either side. So. so the back panel's going on now. So they're, they're the lights inside the sign that's actually going to illuminate the sign off. Is that sign really love? You know, doing any uh, change? Yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine. That's sign really love, isn't it? Uh, Danny, can we get a bit down? No, le I'm turning left and right, so... I'm left and right, right to right. Yeah, left and right is fine. Good. Yo, yo, yo. So I'm in Munchies Darnell. As you can see, the, I got the Munchies sign is lit and it's looking epic. Um, the transformer that was there uh, yesterday has been put into the ceiling by our electrician Mohammed. that's all been sorted um, but I need to get this complete today um, and my builder Alex he's busy on another job today I told him that he had to come down but he's busy so I don't know what to say I'll forgive you I'll forgive you on this one Alex I'll forgive you but we need to get the plants around the edges and we have to complete it today like I mean it's taking too much time it needs to be done today so I have to do it myself. So I'm gonna do it myself, that's it. So, I mean, it's only, I've got my screws. Um, we've got the plants there. So, I mean, it can't be that hard, right? It's not rocket science. So if you look, that's the artificial plant. Um, the back of it, it's literally a, a plastic mesh like this. So the whole idea is we are going to screw these screw into these holes into the wall and we're gonna go all the way around that's the idea let's see how it goes and i've actually only got 35 minutes to do this so let's see how it goes <laughs> so you see this is the bag of screws uh, two pound fifty uh, from uh, bnq to be fair i only needed one type of screws but you get to fill the bag so i just fill the bag with it every other thing that I may need for the rest of my life. Because hopefully builders will never flop on us again. So then I cracked on trying to put the artificial plants on the wall and you know what it was definitely much more challenging than I thought. The screws were not going in properly. I forgot my plugs 
but uh, in the end <laughs> it came out all right luckily abdullah came in uh, last minute because i ran over to uh, munchies donald opening time and uh, abdullah came and he helped out and we managed to finish it and it looks awesome here it is, the completed wall. It's all complete. Look how amazing the artificial plants look uh, sat around the mirrors and I've got the munchie sign. It's really made the store look bigger, brighter and really freshen up the look. So while Shaf was busy at London... <laughs> <laughs> While Shaf was busy at Darno, we were even busier at London Road. So we decided to have a little game with our staff. Here's a clip. So I found out the winner of the game got some Cadbury cream egg. So I thought, do you know what? We're going to play a game next time and the winner is going to get some Apple AirPods, right? And then we saw the aggressive side to Kira. Bloody hell, no one even wanted to speak around her. I really want some AirPods, so I'm going to win. Make it Kira friendly game. <laughs> Anyone else wants AirPods? Yeah, we'll, we'll I know that Apple's uh, got AirPods. No, she just yeah. threatened me. I'm not getting AirPods. I know that Apple's got AirPods, so she's not allowed to play. I need AirPods. David, have you got AirPods? Airports you, you have to win the game. Oh, yeah, I win. I win. yeah? Today you lose. <laughs> right, so the guys fancied a pizza. So I've come out to get a pizza, but I've actually ordered one that I'm not sure if they'll like, but it's actually the best combination. So it's barbecue based with pineapple. So if you have a, if you haven't tried that before, you need to. And I've come to Venice Pizza to get it. I've actually heard a few things about um how nice venice pizza's pizzas are so i'm just gonna try it out and see what it's saying so there's the pizza it's cooked beautiful look at those pineapples look at that. oh pineapple barbecue base garlic butter i just can't wait right we'll be back with the food but right now we're just at liverpool versus arsenal I will be back with a munch after this. Right, so it's that time. It's pizza time. Sha, are you ready, mate? Yes, yes. Are we, are we gonna invite Are we gonna invite the rest of them? The one. <laughs> Who wants to remain anonymous? Oh, look at that. Now listen, some of you might think we're a bit weird, right? But look at this. Pineapple, barbecue base, garlic butter, and it's from Venice Pizza on Abbeydale Road. Sha, are you excited? Let me get my water. Oh, <laughs> no, honestly, this is this is the best combination. Um, there's there's many people that debate that you shouldn't have a pineapple on a pizza. Now, um, you shouldn't really be friends with those people. I don't think I don't think they're really good for your life. Um, pineapple's the best. Garlic butter, barbecue base. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. Just can't wait. But I have to wait for them. God, hurry up. Pineapple on a pizza. I've, I've already told I've already told the guys like you shouldn't really be friends with people that don't like pineapples on pizza. <laughs> it's nice. It's really, really nice. How good is that? Do you know a good pizza? Yeah, is when the base is not chewy, it's soft, and this is just perfect, isn't it? You know, I, I also thought like. Pineapple in a pizza is weird, but when I tried first time with Shah, it was amazing, and this one as well. Thank you everyone for tuning into this week's video. Please make sure like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, thank you very much.